Through the window, I see you waiting. You are smiling, cause I'm coming. You rise your story, a notion of memories, pictures of faces and places, and all of the things that make us feel like we have it all. All of the times that make us realize we have it all We have it all sharing my life with you and experiencing all of life's adventures together. I vow to be your life partner, to hold your hand through the hardships and be your biggest cheerleader in the triumphs. I vow to trust you and respect our differences, to listen to you always, but most importantly when we disagree. I vow to always try to give you the best of me because I know more often than not, especially after a tough day at work, you only get what's left of me. I vow to always take care of you, even when I know it's just a man cold and you're being a big baby. I vow to be the best mama to our babies when the time comes for us. I vow to love you the best that I can for the rest of my life. I love you so much and I can't wait to be your wife. With all my heart, Anna. You're so much more to me than just my fiance and soon to be wife. You're my biggest cheerleader, my crutch when I'm stumbling, my awful co-pilot, <laughs> my biggest pain in the ass, <laughs> but above all, my best friend. You're truly the only person I want to see every day, even if I don't always act like it. I'm so fortunate to have found someone as beautiful, caring, selfless, driven, and just overall fun as you. You make my life better, and I think the greatest compliment I could give is that I love the person I get to be when I'm with you. And my hope is that you can always say the same. I know I'm not perfect, and I know that I've made mistakes, but my promise to you is to never stop trying. I promise to always respect you, I promise to be faithful to you. I promise to always share my snacks. And above all, I promise to be the best partner I can be for the rest of our lives together. I look forward to seeing where this life takes us. I'm excited to share in each other's dreams and support one another through our missteps. I love you more than I know, more than you know, and I promise to continue to choose you every day for the rest of our lives.
And Al Farana, I do remember one of the earlier times when I was hanging around you or visiting Zach. I forget where he was at the time. Might have been Pittsburgh or some of the eight places he's been. Um, I had a drive back with Anna, and she had to drive me to a Bass Pro Shop to Harrisburg for my dad to pick me up halfway to home. And you can imagine we're both not the most talkative. Probably 50 words were said that whole time. <laughs> um, but it really wasn't what was said that made me realize what kind of person Anna was. It was the patience, the accommodations, the air conditioning good enough, what kind of music do you want to listen to, that um, you want to stop to go to the bathroom. <laughs> that uh, made me realize that I would not mind having Anna around for a long time. I lost my spot. I know that may be a small glimpse into the experience that we shared and very simple experience, but it was one that I held close to my heart. And now that I'm finished, I can finally admit that after all the rivalries and battles, I think Zach has finally taken the lead in the brotherly rivalry. Someone as great of Anna entering this family and you bring her here deserves a round of applause for sure. I do not have a toast, but if everybody could raise a glass to the newlyweds. Cheers, and good luck with your new life. I would say, welcome to the family, but you've been a part of this family since the day you stepped through that door. I guess now it's just a little more official. While I don't have a fancy toast, I do have a quote by a very wise man. Michael Scott once said, Love is the water of life, drink deeply.